So you can see my pressure right here is almost at 90. Tank pressure is at about 110-ish. Hey guys, Brad here with Skyline Construction. And today I'm gonna to be taking a look at a compressor. This is the Senko PC1010. It's just a little guy. I love this compressor for doing trim work, um, especially if you're just doing quick in and out trim work. This thing is super sweet to have. It's roughly 14 inches across the front and just under 12 inches high. And front to back, the unit's about 12 inches deep. So super handy little unit. I use this if I'm doing some repair work or if I'm just doing a quick little base and case job. Um, usually if we're doing a full house, we'll be set up with a larger compressor with multiple hoses coming off of it. But this is just great to keep in your truck for those little jobs. If you don't have a, a cordless option like the DeWalt or, or even the Senko cordless options, um, this is such a great little compressor. So some specs on it. It's a half horsepower motor and it's a uh, one gallon tank. Puts out a max of 125 PSI and your output is 1.4 CFM. Um, I've never run a spiker off this, but uh, maybe we'll give that a try today. But I, I'm always running either an 18 gauge or most typically my 23 gauge uh, pin nailers. And this will usually shoot up to two inch. So no problems there. You've got a uh, tank pressure gauge here. And then you've got line pressure right here and fully adjustable. And like I said, it goes up to 125 PSI. So super light, very quiet compressor. You can have this running while your homeowner or client is home. Uh, this won't bug them. Um, it's such a, a quiet unit. So what we'll do is we'll turn it on and we'll fire some nails into probably some oak and then I'll grab my spiker and, and let's see if we can shoot a couple nails with that. So to turn it on, it's just a simple on off switch just on the top here. And that's it. So we'll get this up to pressure and well, that's building up. I'll grab my gun and some boards and away we go. So I like to keep my guns at around 90 to 100 PSI, depending on what material I'm shooting into. Um, so you can see my pressure right here is almost at 90. Tank pressure is at about 110-ish. It takes about 42 seconds to recharge after, you know, once you're using it and it wants to build up pressure again. It's about 42 seconds. So it's pretty quick. So I'll just shoot some, this is my KDX nailer. We did a review on this as well. Uh, it's a 23 gauge nail gun and we're shooting, looks like one and three quarter nails. Oh, sorry, one and a half. Okay, so let's take a look here. And always keep your hand away. You know, you wouldn't want to shoot here because it might come out the side and hit your thumb or your finger. So let's, we'll just shoot back in here. So no problem. And I'll fire a bunch of nails until I see how this comes back on. So quite a bit. Need to be able to fire quite a bit of nails. Plus, I was running the little uh, air chuck on the side here to get this thing to kick back on. So now I'll grab a spiker 
and we'll give that a try, okay? Okay, so now let's try a spiker. We'll use three and a quarter inch nails. Now, obviously you're not gonna frame a house with this, but worst case scenario, let's see if this will even fire. So, eyes and ears. Just using a uh, Max Super Framer here, three and a quarter inch nails. And uh, here we go. So as you can see, it's not ideal. It will work if you had to shoot some nails. Um, but this would not be your go-to uh, compressor for framing nail gun. This is, I think, strictly for finishing. If you're going to need a spiker, maybe go pick up a cordless one or maybe plan ahead and bring a bigger compressor. But otherwise, you can see that just bumped right out. That one's a bit proud, and this one did sink. But otherwise, I would say definitely don't use this for framing. Otherwise, uh, yeah, great little compressor. I love it for finishing and just having a, you know, a quick thing to grab. I can fill up tires with this. It takes a while, but you can do it. Um, yeah, I got nothing really bad to say about this Senko brand. It's, it's a great brand. So if you'd like to review, guys, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What little compressors are you using? Uh, I know there's a lot of them out there, so I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notify bell, and smash that like button. Till next time, we'll catch you later, and keep on crushing it.